The fastest and most efficient way to send forms to your customers and vendors is by email. Configuring Adagio properly will assist in processing emails smoothly. To enable emailing in a particular Adagio program, you first need to open the file menu and select User Preferences. And from the General tab, click the Allow Emailing checkbox. When the user preference is saved, this will reveal the email menu at the top, which allows defining the setup and also maintaining and printing the queued documents to send. The email setup contains information specific to the Adagio user and company data, such as the return email address. Emails can be sent via a MAPI connection to an installed email program, such as Outlook, which allows saving sent copies there. Alternatively, a direct connection through your own email server can be defined, including settings when authentication and TLS, SSL encryption are required. Changing the port value may be necessary, according to mail server instructions. Clicking the Test Email button will send a simple email to the return address to ensure the settings are correct. Edit customers or vendors to set up email addresses on the first tab and in the contact section. Multiple addresses can be entered, separated by semicolons. This field is clickable if you wish to send an email to this address via an installed email program. If desired, you may define alternate email addresses specifically for customer statements or invoices. On the Statement tab, fields for the email address and contact may be entered as a pair, which will override the main contact email when statements are sent. If both of these fields are left blank, then statements will be set to the main contact. Similarly, on the Invoicing tab, there are email and contact fields if the invoice recipient differs from the main contact. There are also settings for statements and invoices to indicate that the customer wishes to receive forms by email, either allowing them at all or setting as the preferred method. Also, for each document type, a particular form specification may be selected to use when emailing if the customer wants a different form layout than the default email spec. Emailed forms are sent as PDF attachments. The text for the email subject and body are defined from the edit menu and email cover sheets. Multiple cover sheets may be created for each type of form or reason for emailing. When creating or editing a cover sheet, a unique code and internal description is entered, as well as the subject line for the email. The body of the email is typed or pasted into this large text pad area. Database fields for the customer or the document or your company may be inserted from lists at the right side into either the subject or the body to the cursor position. The cover sheet can be checked for accuracy by clicking the preview button and selecting a customer to view. In programs that support emailing transactions with a print status, there will be a setting in the company profile that allows setting the document status to printed when emailed. This is important to ensure a transaction is not sent again by mistake. Also, for form specifications configured with multiple copies, emailing will only send the first copy. Therefore, you should design the first copy of your spec as the customer copy. For more information, follow this link to watch the training video about emailing forms. Get Adagio ready to email forms efficiently with the correct setup. For more information about Adagio accounting, use these links on screen 
or from the video description. Thanks for watching.